Esarhaddon, the great king, the mighty king, king of the universe, king of Assyria. Thus reads one line of the inscription on this magnificent victory stele. This replica is the largest object in the museum's collection and was originally purchased in 1892. It was made only about four years after the ancient original had been discovered by a German team in Zingerli, Turkey. The original is now housed in Berlin. Esarhaddon ruled the great empire of Assyria in the 7th century BC. He is the largest figure depicted on the monument and is shown holding an offering up to the gods, who appear represented as symbols. At his feet are two of his conquered enemies, an Egyptian pharaoh, or prince, and the king of the Phoenician city of Sidon. Coming out of their noses, you can see a rope that the king is holding. On the right side of the monument, Ashurbanipal, one of Esarhaddon's sons, can be seen. He succeeded his father as the ruler of Assyria. On the left side is another of Esarhaddon's sons, Shamash Shumukin, who was put in charge of the territory of Babylon. The two brothers did not like having to share power and eventually fought a civil war in which Ashurbanipal was victorious, becoming the sole leader of Assyria. Scholars suggest this imposing monument was more about representing the unceasing power of the Assyrian king than it was a historical document. It was placed by the city's entry gates and was meant to instill the fear of Assyria's dominance on all who walked past.